here. We are here at the Fresno Freedom School, one of the five sites that the Fresno Freedom School students are doing here in West Fresno, which is very historic. No other organization of youth or adults that I know have five locations in one location. And that's just a beautiful thing. We have our sister here. She came all the way from Ghana. Whippy! And I'm going to tell you guys a little story about her. I have uh, some friends that uh, I used to go over to their house. And uh, they used to tell me all the time, they said, we going over D house, D house. And I'm like, D house. I said, oh, okay. And then three of them, I said, we going over D house. I said, why are you always going over D house? Oh, she can cook good. She can cook good. So six months later, they saying the same thing. I kept saying, who is this D? Who is it? Then a year went by. Oh, you got, we going over there. We got some good food. She know how to cook. Hairs. Now, I know you know how to cook, but she know how to cook. I said, okay. So two years roll around. We going over D house again. <laughs> it was a D, 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 D. I said, you know what? I got to see who this D is. I'm just, D this, D that, D this. Oh, and I present God. to the world today. D. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that is some introduction. Man. You too much on it. <laughs> and I went and I finally got invited to her house. And I tell y'all, she cooks some food. And now I'm calling her D, 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 D. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I can, listen, I can't even cook compared to I thought I could cook, y'all. But my God. But she is a good friend and supporter of the Freedom School. She has a small business. I hope she tells us about that as well. We want small to turn big. We big sure business, okay? Yes. We got to speak stuff into existence. Exactly. And so, I, I so our yes. sister here has been to Ghana. She's here in fresh. She's getting ready to go back. She has donated some seeds from Ghana. And, and, and we're going to plant these seeds from Ghana in its own location. I don't want to mix them up with the American <laughs> seeds, but they're its own, own area. And so, Welcome to the Freedom School, one of our five sites. We're just glad to have you today, and yes, and you're taking video footage. And tell us a little bit about you, and what do you think about what these kids are doing here? Well, um, as you mentioned, I am the owner of Yefeu Cultural Fashion, which is a small online boutique um, that sells African clothing and accessories, and um, we are source, sourcing from Ghana. Um, my aim is to hopefully someday set up in the continent or on the continent in Ghana specifically where I'm able to employ a number of people not just a few and um, take our business as far as it can go but um, as, as, as far as today I was walking through and checking out everything because I don't I can't grow anything I don't have a green thumb unlike my sister but as I was walking through I just noticed how neat everything is the sturdy vines and the support that the vines have and everything is really growing and it is beautiful vegetables you can tell you can look at it and tell so the work that the kids have put in is really showing you can see the fruits of their labor so I'm really impressed with it and um, I just look forward to, to seeing more of what they, they are going to do and with the seeds that um, we were able and blessed to offer and donate to the cause, I am really excited to see those because um, as you mentioned, those are organic and indigenous seeds. That's what ES says, they're indigenous seeds. So I would um, encourage anyone who's interested in getting any of those seeds to visit her website, eatlovemigrate.com, I think that's the name of it. She has a YouTube channel you can visit um, as well and get more information if you would like to order any of the seeds. So. That's basically... What is your YouTube channel? Is that public my information? My YouTube channel is Yafeu G-H. Yafeu is spelled Y-A-F-E-U and then G-H. So Yafeu G-H, that's my YouTube channel. Great. And so you do a lot of posting and yeah, videos. Um, well, I, a lot of the posting that I, I 
have been doing in the past was when I went to visit Ghana, since that was my first time. And mm -hmm. um, since I'm back on this side now, I've been working on my cooking channel more so than Yefeyu. But um, Told y'all she could cook. <laughs> Told y'all. Just say, listen, if I was in church, i will tell everybody, look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, say D. D, 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 D. That, that's what I would say in church, but I know I ain't in church right now, so. But if I was in church. <laughs> What part of Mississippi? Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg. Yeah, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Is that close to Jackson or? It is. I think it it's is. maybe what, maybe two hours. Two it, hours. Maybe, maybe a little bit over, but it's not okay. that far from Jackson, which is the capital of uh, Mississippi. Wow. But yeah, Mississippi is home. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go to Mississippi. Well, my son and grandmother lives in West Point. And okay. so I had opportunity to, and that's where Fannie Lou Hamer is from, Mississippi. I was going to try to go visit her, her uh, burial, and I just it was, and I had to get back to Louisiana. So mm -hmm. hopefully next time I go to Mississippi, I'm gonna make it a point to go see okay. Fannie Lou Hamer. Okay. And and for those of you who may know, may not know that the that the Freedom School came was originated. The first original Freedom Schools were in Mississippi. Mississippi. That's where the Freedom Schools originated from. Okay. And so as I did my research, uh, the Lord had put 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 it on my heart to be able to look at the foundation of, of what what our ancestors built. And there's Freedom Schools all over the country, but Oakland has Freedom Schools. They have three or four of them, you know. And all of us have our different, you know, uh, 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 word I'm looking for. Version tack or whatever you want to use. Right. Um, ours is ag. Our ag is our biggest piece, but we do more uh, uh, programs. You know, we have automotive classes, we have janitorial, we have cooking, baking, sewing. Um, you know, just all types of programs. Etiquette. You know, how do we teach the children how to iron their clothes and you know how to use starch and how to set a table. These are the things that are are are, are we have forgotten. Here on the West Coast, the folks in the South, they keep those that that they stay grounded. They keep their children grounded. My son goes to Southern University, Baton, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So I wanted him not just to go to a college. I wanted him to go to a historical black college so that he would stay grounded for a black man or who he is. And so I thought he was going to go do cheerleading. He was the best on the West Coast. But now he's doing he started a stomp group. And now that become controversial with the football team, football cheer. So it's just a. But I taught my son politics, so he know he know how to stand tall. But it's all good because we do need new things, we do need new ideas, we do need new blood, new new visions, and things like that. So he's just helping to contribute again for the next several generations that those that come uh, after him. After him, so. Um, but anyway, we just want to just acknowledge you and thank you for coming out here. Whatever support you can do, we appreciate it spreading us over in Ghana. Uh, and hopefully, I I've been praying about even starting a little clothes chain myself. I've been thinking about that, so that's why I meant to call D D D about this week. But I've been on that tractor all day yesterday, and I, my body felt like spaghetti. And I, I just, I, I can't, I'm like that lady. I fell and I can't get up. <laughs> then I fell through the trailer this week trying to put wood on the, it's just oh been a week. Gosh. So, uh, but we're, but we're thankful. We're but thankful. You, you've got to um, get over to Ghana because if I go over there and get some land, I don't know how to grow anything. <laughs> So you are going to have to come. Uh, listen, I opened me up a savings account already and I'm putting money in it every month. Okay. Just for Ghana. <laughs> All right. So All right. when that when that time come for me to go, you yeah. said Harris, let it's time to come. I'm gonna okay. be ready. There'll be no excuses. I got my passport. I'm like, listen, okay. I'm be ready to go. <laughs> All right. All so right. Well, I'm gonna be getting out of here. Um, hopefully, right. God willing, the end of um, June, headed back to the continent. So 
So let me ask you this before before Mm -hmm. we shut down. So Mm -hmm. once you get back to Ghana, um, I know they have computers and all that type of stuff, but is there a way that we, because I have a radio show, that we could maybe connect and, um, you know, talk to you you about what's going on, if it's Zoom or whatever it is, we just want to stay connected with you. Okay. And, um, and what is the time difference? Eight hours? It is, yeah. Eight hours. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, YouTube, Zoom, like you mentioned, Skype. Right. right. Like it, it, all of those work. It's just, like I said, the connectivity issue. Right. So, even WhatsApp, you can do stuff through that WhatsApp. as well. Okay. So okay. We'll find a way. Okay. Great, yeah, great. For sure. All right, everyone. All right. Say hello. I miss you guys. Sister Sherry, I miss you. I ain't seen you in a long time. Shout out to you, Diane, everybody. Just thank y'all again. We're just going to walk around the, the, the farm one more time before we shut down. Uh, we have black-eyed peas right here. We have okra, corn. We have honeydews. We have uh, tomatoes here also. Uh, green tomatoes. Y'all know, y'all know black folks like green tomatoes. I didn't know that, but I just found that out. And here we have eggplants. Over 200 eggplants here. Children put over 300 hours in creating this site. We have five different sites that we have. And you can see the tomatoes right here are just coming on and looking beautiful. So, we just thank you guys.